Welcome to the SmartView two-way elevator visual communication system demonstration. This system was developed to meet the ASME A17.1 2019 code changes. In this animation, we'll discuss the code, review system components, and demonstrate how the system will operate in three potential scenarios. The scenarios are, the call is answered and two-way communication is established. The call is answered, there is no response, and the elevator is occupied. The call is answered, there is no response, and the elevator is empty. The heart of the code change is to provide the hearing impaired with an improved method to communicate with rescue services. The improvement will be required in all new elevator installations or major modifications. The code requires a smart view controller, an adjustable camera that can see the floor and be viewed remotely by rescue services, a display on the car panel that allows rescue services to remotely ask questions by typing a message and getting yes or no responses. Yes and no buttons. The components include a smart view controller with a unique ID that allows access to the smart view cloud-based software an adjustable camera that mounts to the panel face, an LCD display to provide visual communication of messages from a monitoring company, yes and no buttons provided by the fixture manufacturer to maintain an aesthetically pleasing panel design, an optional Ethernet copper extender to allow for a two-wire connection to the SmartView system, an internet connection not provided, an elevator phone is required, Next, we will demonstrate how the system operates. Scenario number one, the call is answered and two-way communication is established. This scenario demonstrates how the system operates when someone can verbally communicate with rescue services. If someone becomes trapped, they will push the emergency phone button to initiate a call. The call progress LED will illuminate. The monitoring company answers the call What's your emergency? The pre-recorded location message, which includes a unique ID number, placed twice for both parties. Highland Hotel, Building B, Elevator 4, Smart View ID 23456. Once both parties have heard the location message, two-way communication is established. The call progress LED will flash. Scenario number two. The call is answered, there is no response, and the elevator is occupied. This scenario demonstrates how the system operates when someone is unable to communicate with rescue services. Two hearing impaired passengers are trapped. The emergency phone button is pressed and the call goes to a monitoring company. The call progress LED will illuminate. The monitoring company answers the call, what's your emergency? The pre-recorded location message, which includes a unique ID number, placed twice for both parties. Highland Hotel, Building A, Elevator 3, Smart View ID 12345. Once the location message has played, two-way communication is established. The call progress LED will flash. Since the monitoring company does not receive any verbal communication from inside the elevator, they will open a link on their computer to the SmartView cloud-based software. They will type in the unique ID for that elevator. This will activate the camera so they can view the interior of the elevator. Upon seeing passengers and not receiving a verbal response, a message will be typed on their computer that will display on the LCD screen in the car. Once the monitoring company sends a message, it will remain static until a new message is sent. The passengers can reply with yes and no responses. When the monitoring company dispatches rescue services, they must send a message to the elevator occupants stating, help is on the way. Once help has arrived, the monitoring company disconnects the call by closing the SmartView software. Scenario number three, the call is answered, there is no response, and the elevator is empty. Many elevator phone activations are accidental. In this scenario, a child is playing and pushes the phone button as they are leaving. A call comes into the monitoring company. 
Once the location message plays and two-way communication is established, there is no response. The link to the SmartView software is opened and the unique ID is entered. This enables the camera, and the monitoring company can see that there are no occupants in the elevator. The call is then canceled, saving money from needless dispatches. The SmartView two-way elevator visual communication system meets the ASME A17.1 2019 code, improving communication for the hard of hearing. Our dependable, high-quality, made-in-the-USA products are truly protecting what matters.